I always look out to find the why of Mega Agency since 30 years ago. I come from China. People from my hometown in China input American Y Agency for more than 300 years. American Agency, 95% shipped to China and Korea. But people from my hometown in Poland, but 80% of agency in the past 100 years. That's why I'm always curious where is the why American agency. Finally, today I found the real why agency in the top of the mountain. Welcome to this adventure. Ginseng only grows in certain parts of the woods, mostly in hollers where there's shade or on the north facing. So right in here, you're not gonna find any ginseng. It's too dry, it's, too dry. it's on top. We're gonna go over and into the hollow. And we'll see if we can find some. This barrel have a two or three C inside. This C you can it uh, fall to the ground. Then the next year they grow back itself. That's why ginseng you have to wait until five or ten years older to pick it. Otherwise, you you don't have C left over. That means you you need to let them continue with older to pick it. They can have a more generation going on. So Dr. Ming, in tradition, before you uh, dig the root with the red berries, you always come up to the side and dig a hole. You take the red berries and plant them back. I'm gonna keep a couple for us to taste. Mm -hmm. You ever tried a rock, 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 wild berry? Take one piece? Yeah. Yeah. Taste of medicine. Mm -hmm. Very strong. Mm -hmm. and then you got the seed, you punt the seed back. Then you just cover it right back up so the turkeys can't get it. Mm -hmm. Some very rare for five and six prong. But if you look close, you look underneath, you see the babies from that four prong. So here's a, a small tooth. Mm -hmm. Here's a and here's a last year root, I mean a seed. A baby. Try to dig a big hole so you don't cut it. Wait, wait, let me dig in. It's come out. Let's use this right here to break some of the dirt off. Okay. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Be real careful. Good. That's an old good. one. Dig in, dig in. Let it move. Okay. Not gonna break. That's got nice shape in here, don't it? Nice bulby shape. Okay, okay, okay. Just shake it real easy. There you go. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. See? Super nice. Not put anything. There you go. Everything come up. First four prong. See. Try to get all the little roots out, yeah. There you go. Super nice. Oh, really see, nice. You got everything. Beautiful. Good job. See, that whole thing come out. Ten year old look up. Yeah, that's a nice old root there. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
a nice one. Appalachian, East Tennessee. Probably 10 or 12 year old ginseng root four prong. That's good eating right there. Wild ginseng. Back when I was a young boy, the living around here was kind of hard to make, and you could sell that ginseng pretty good price, and you could make some pretty good, you know, pretty good living making ginseng. And we had one family, you could get welfare, and he'd raise tobacco, and he'd grow welfare all for 11 months, and then he'd sell his tobacco crop and make a big price, you know, get a big price out of his tobacco crop, and then, but he'd hunt ginseng all year. It didn't matter if it just come up, it didn't matter if it's seeded or not, he'd dig it. Any regulation right now? Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's gotta yeah, be uh, got to be a three prong or two, doesn't Only it? Only September yeah. and yeah, do, uh, do you do they need a permit, like fixing license, something like no. that? Well if you go on if you go on somebody's property you're gonna have to have a permit to go on their property. If, I, if I your own property you're fine. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. If your own property, you're yeah. okay. Well, you're okay around here because all these people know each other, but we've got a lot of people coming down here from up north mm -hmm. that is creating a trespassing problem. When I grew up, if, if you could get outside the in the woods, it was yours, you know. But now the with the northern people coming down and California people coming in, uh, if you get on their property, they, they, they raise cane about it. You know, they give this hard time. Uh, but they'll they'll either learn to be like us or they'll not get along with us. That's gorgeous ginseng in there. Yeah, it's really nice. Some oldies in there. It go up here, you yeah. can count it. At least 10. And here, another 10 here. And, look at the, and then you flip it around, it's another 10. Another 10. Yeah. So it's probably it's 30, 40 year old. Yeah. And then you yeah. have, that's a double top, so I had two ginseng yeah. plants coming off of it. Yeah, that's the old one. You look at here, that's how they grow. Uh, how long you can keep it in the refrigerator? Uh, I usually keep it in about seven to ten days, and then after that, I process it. So I either dry it or I'll sell it fresh, and I'll grade it. I'll grade it in between those seven to ten days. Probably if you dry it in a box, the value going up to in a box because of people they buy and they sell to China, winter China. Right. Well, I have um, I, I have Korean fresh market also, mm -hmm. so you know they like these longer styles, mm -hmm. which the Chinese they like. The chunkier style yeah so you know the koreans i'll grade and sell the koreans these fresh and i'll dry these and sell them to the dry market it's shipped to korea south korea no nope, or they come here korean americans they they, they are around here yep so and there's know, a market around here right right we call it the american like, korean market and it's uh it's a like farmer market for ginseng yeah kind of like a farmer's market mm -hmm. um you know they'll uh they'll call me pre-orders mm -hmm. um kind of tell me what they want and we'll mm -hmm. package it up and either ship it to them or they'll come and buy it from me. Mm -hmm. They, so the Koreans use alcohol, right? They put the ginseng in alcohol sometimes. Right, yeah. So a lot of them, they'll take, they'll take this, they'll take these longer style roots and they'll stick it in a quart of vodka mm -hmm. and then they'll, uh, you know, make it look pretty, all, all the hairs and stuff. And then they'll sell it as tincture, or they'll sell it as the decoration, put it on stands and stuff, and people drink it, and the Koreans will drink it on special holidays. That's probably about 40, 50 year old. Is that yeah. worth more than the rest of them? Yeah, so this is a more valuable root <clears throat> due to age and shape. Well, he nicked it, so it kind of takes the value from it, but the the old age, you got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 year old. It's a 50 year old root. And it could be older, but right. it's only, it may not come up every year. But we call this, 
we call this a multi-generational root. So you have one root, which is its main root that come off of it. So this is the beginning root. And then 10 years, which is the next generation, it popped another root. So that's the secondary generation root. And then here's the third, which has probably been eaten off of. You see, a, is there's nothing there. So a vole probably ate that root off, which would be the third generation. And then your fourth generation root is here. And then this is the recent generation, which is harvested. This is what I would call a high value lot. Um, you know, you get a lot of, you don't get this a lot. This is your top of the line digger, brings in your chunky root, big root. This is high quality ginseng too, but just not as big. Have you got more in here? Uh, yeah, this, this back here, I would say pretty much average thing. Not as big, not as old, a little bit longer. And then this, this is what I would call top of the line. It's just nothing but what we call mountain taters. Yeah. Which is, uh, around 200. 200. Well, that's so green. That's, that's, that's green. Not that's not dry. But do I want those like from 2,000 to 5,000 depending how, how big is the size? The bigger, older, more expensive. The last time I buy one pound from you, a thousand two hundred dollars small one. Yeah. But bigger, it cost can be five thousand dollar pound. Yeah. See, it dries yeah. out. It dries out one third. So if you have a pound of dr green, it's like one third one dry. Third? One third, one ain't third. it? So it's like two thirds of it. Like a pound of gin green ginseng just weighs like one third of a pound when it's dry, right? Close to it, yeah. yeah. More like three point five. Today? No, I didn't make it today. You going back tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going to go back tomorrow. Really yes. You going to the big mountains? Okay. Alright. Those are my favorite days. Willie, did Willie get jealous you dug all that? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, he couldn't wait where I dug it at. Mm -hmm. So this is Josh Greer. He uh, he's actually one of the first diggers I met. Him and his brother Willie, and uh, they used to dig about a hundred pound a year. You'd say maybe yeah. more. Yeah. Say so that first year you came, dug over a hundred, about hundred twenty. Yeah, I'd say every bit of. And uh, he grew up digging ginseng ever since he was a little boy, didn't he? Yeah, started when I was ten. Started when he was ten, and and then uh, him and Willie, they just double team and dig all over these mountains. You see, and uh, I bet there's probably not a hollow you've not been into. Either. I'd say not. With him 50 miles man. Yeah, so he's probably been in every holler in this county, I'd say. And uh, he actually he got a job and he ain't been digging as much, but he always takes a good weekend and maybe a week to go out and dig me some ginseng. And uh, he always brings me the best quality ginseng out there. And I appreciate him. So this is off a of stone mountain, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was straight across the ridge from where I found that big patch at. Back yeah. 
about 15 years ago, it is. Dug it yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. One day, right? Yeah. Dug it all one day. And you were hiking up to the mountain? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I walked for about, I guess, seven hours back in there. That's Took you seven hours? Pound? Yeah. You didn't drive to the top? No. Ha! <laughs> no, I walked it. 452 in seven hours. Hard to beat it, ain't it? How many pounds is it? A little over two pounds. Right at two pounds. So one day, good money. Good money. Yeah. Hard to make that as a doctor in five hours. Yeah. Give me some money. Thank you, Nathan. So this is woods grown ginseng. It's about, it's probably five or six years old. Uh, so normally you want to see at least, uh, when you harvest ginseng, you want at least like the three prong. Then they have four prong. Like I have four, sometimes five. Uh, you can see the scars on the neck. Usually you can count those. It's usually five or six years old. So this is, this is what they call woods grown, which is, similar to wild because it's not been just where we planted some seeds so uh, here you go this is uh what what size saw uh so oh, here's east to see east, east is west so this so so south? this is north okay north. so this is north so it's the north facing oh well and the north facing less sun right Okay. So it, it always okay, grows it. better on the north facing and the where north. they have shade. Oh, on the north. That's why I'm putting to no north. So you want to start out, make like a circle, and dig down hard. There you go. And then try to pull up a little bit. There you go. And you just make a big circle. Right. How about go and our garden in Massachusetts? Is it going to be survival or not? It could, yeah, yeah, could. yeah. But I have to be not too much sun, right? You want to keep you want to keep the ginseng live, keep it live and yeah, replant we, it. We find one. Okay. Uh, like two. Yeah, you can keep these. Yeah. To keep it for so people to teach. Yeah. So people dancy because they, they some people never see the live dancing. They are eat dancing. Oh, because I do dancing a lot for my patient. I make dancing is better for the inner energy, you know. Like for diabetic patient, help balance the blood sugar because type two blood diabetic they in deficiency. Okay. okay. That's good. Let me just get it loose here. More deeper, probably more deeper. Okay, let's see here. Hold on. Cut now. It's got. It has some wire. More wire. Yeah, there you go. Pretty good. Yeah. Now we got two. So we can take the tops, just break the tops off. Yeah, and they can grow? Yeah. 
we go back again. And you can dry the leaves out too and make tea, I guess, you know. Mm -hmm, yeah. Now sometimes I'll just eat the leaf. Mm -hmm. Taste the mm -hmm. seal it up. The life like that. Yeah, and put it in a refrigerator. Refrigerator. Huh? And it'll it'll stay alive all winter long, so you can then replant it in the spring and watch it come up. Oh, this can keep in refrigerator. Keep in the refrigerator no, all no winter frozen, long. No, no frozen. Yeah, not frozen. Just in the, like in the refrigerator. refrigerator. Yeah, all winter, and this put down on the spring. Yeah, you can you can turn around and plant it in the spring, and, it, and you'll watch it come up. It'll start sprouting in the springtime. Yeah. But why you keep on spring, spring, put it down better, right? Yeah, it'll keep it alive. It'll keep it alive if you want to grow it in the spring to show spring people. Better. Yeah, let me show you the. Uh, can I uh, go right now and the spring still alive? Yeah. 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 I can put it down right now, right? Yeah. So you can see the bud. Mm -hmm. That's next year's bud right here. See that bud? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little bud. That'll that'll sprout the next year's. Mm -hmm. This is wild ginseng. Wild ginseng. But it, but I, to here. Yeah, so I dug it up and transplanted it. So this ginseng's 30, 40 years old. I'm gonna take the berry pods off. I'm gonna take these seed protectors. It's already when you did it, only 40 years old. How long are you put in here now? Yeah, it um uh, it's been here for probably five, six years or so. Five or six years? See how the, right. see how the berries? We're thinking this fruit might be around as old as America is, maybe older. Um, the guy that dug it has been digging for 80 years. Well, about 70 years. He's 80 years, 88 years old. And uh, he said he's hunted this spot ever since he's a little kid and never seen this root. So, uh, in our opinion, this root has probably been dormant for about 70 to 80 years. And uh, and then you can see the age on it now. It's showing over 100 years. So, you know, in our opinion, this root's definitely over 170 and maybe probably close to 200 years old. Thank you. You're welcome. Pleasure doing business. Hope you like the quality. Very good. This ginseng is a wood grow. That means we put the seed in the mountain under the tree. Make sure you put on the northern side of the mountain because it's southern or eastern, it's too much sun, it's not gonna work. And after five years, five to 10 years, you can pick it to use. It's, it's called half wild. And this ginseng is actually, it's, right now it's 40 years old now. It's a wild American ginseng. We found that in Tennessee, it's up in the high mountain. And this is a wild one. See, you see the wild one? You see, you have this kind of so old. And also they are lighter too, when you eat lighter. The, this is wood go. Then we have a farm go. But usually you use wood go. Wood go, that means you don't, you don't water, you don't do nothing. Just put the seed on the, on the mountain, under the tree. After twice, ten, five or 10 years, you pick it. That's called wood go. But wood go ginseng is about, like right now, about $1,000 pound. But the wild ginseng buy one is going to be from two thousand dollar to five thousand dollar, depending uh, how old they are. Older is more expensive. This like two thousand dollar pound, small one, is a mix. 
and this is like six thousand dollar pound. This ginseng is from at least twenty to thirty years old. Bigger piece, and this one small one is because small one. This is about five to ten years, but this one is look they all the same size. It's for gift. This uh even smaller, but look look like small, more shorter. It's like price still high. It's three thousand dollar half price from this one, but depending on what you want to do, like this one is is not at the same size, small and big, all max. This one is cheaper too, two thousand dollar pound. It's a max. Max we you use ourselves okay, but not for a gift. Gift you have to be every piece perfect, either big or small. Look, this is like. From twenty to thirty, look, 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 looking good for a gift. You put in a gift, gift box, Christmas gift. Okay, this is six thousand dollar Christmas gift. Use a toothbrush to clean the ginseng. Okay. She look clean now. Other way you. You drain the dirt and make sure you take this out. This one, if you put this together, you will remove the ginseng, not put so power. With this one together, you weaken the ginseng. You want more cheese stronger, don't put this one in. Okay. Chinese medicine. Chinese herb, we always use formula, use two or three ingredients mixed together, but right now it's tonified the chi. And the spring energy is I put three pieces, small piece, chen pi, C H E N P I. You can use three or four pieces together. And this is the first engine you double boil. We're gonna be timing for one one hour. Remember, if you if you boil, boil the first range, it's one hour. Double boil, one hour, okay? If you boil the dry one, it's two hours. Two hours. The reason you double boil, because uh, you boil down the water outside your cup, your ginseng cup, because the water boil down, and you just drain it tea inside the cup, the herbal tea, the ginseng tea inside the cup. If you don't do the double boil, what happened? You have like five cup of water boiling out to two cup. You lost three cup, more than 50% is go to the air. The reason you need double boil is more concentrate and you don't lost the energy, the nutrition not lost to the air. Because when you boil it down, part of the water is boiling up. And example, your five cup of water boil down to two cup, then you only have you lost two, three cup of the tea. If you do double boil, you get ninety five percent contain everything in the cup. The difference between American ginseng and Chinese ginseng. American ginseng. It's in energy, Chinese ginseng is young energy. What that means is this more cold, this more hot. Young is hot, yin is cold and cool. What that means is when you have in deficiency, your body need cool down, you need in energy. That means the symptom of thirsty, you're enjoying a lot, and you lost weight, you're tired. That's called in deficiency. That happened the early state of type 2 diabetic. You have that kind of symptom, that means you help your body balance. You know how to fix the root cause, then you don't need to treat the symptom forever. But it's your, that's why you have to find uh, who you are and what you need. But 95% of the type 2 diabetic is in deficiency. 
only 5% of the population need young energy. That means most people it feel thirsty and drain a lot. That's already a symptom. Uh, we can diagnose them with indeficiency. Chinese diagnose different than Western diagnosis. Chinese diagnose is we find out the root cause. What is the problem with your body? You need eat the right food. You need change your lifestyle. You need change your diet too. That means ginseng is a food, but also so can use for energy. But the Chinese Chinese people why they use more American ginseng because they're more gentle. It can you everybody can use, but Chinese ginseng is for only emergency. If you almost die, no more energy left, then you die. Then we need like a triple air, charge your big big battery. If you clap, your energy clap, you die. No more young energy, then it's very powerful. But we don't waste this ginseng. This ginseng, you know how much? Cost me a hundred thousand US dollar to buy this ginseng. But only for my family, friend, close friend, when I need it for emergency use. I'm not gonna sell this engine. I have more. I have a couple of in real, but I also have dry one too. American engine, this uh, this one, I'm gonna dry this one, put in a box. This one, this one, ten thousand dollars. But that means how do you use? But you can use for prevention for boost up your immune system or you can use for diabetic problem. Help your balance your sugar level because it's when you're in energy tonify, your energy balance, your body balance itself in step three forever. Right now, after you clean the ginseng, you're gonna put this wild ginseng into the glass jar. Then you're gonna fill up with the high percent of the alcohol. This is 190% sugar cane, organic sugar cane alcohol. Keep this one in a jar for at least 30 days. After 30 days, uh, you can, when you drink it, you, each time you only can drink like quarter teaspoon with one, one cup of water mixed with green water to drink. This is the Y American Ginseng with Remy Martin XO. It's an extract already I prepared for one month. It's ready to go. It's normal dose, only one teaspoon. Okay, one teaspoon, teaspoon ginseng extract. Ginseng is uh, absorbed 100% through the alcohol. That's why you, we use uh, alcohol to do extra. But you cannot, if you are allergic to alcohol, then you have to do double boil. It's an option for you, see? Now, mix with one cup of water. This is spring water. Okay, enjoy your ginseng extract tea. This is ginseng tea, but it's feel good. 
you need energy, right? That's why I feel chi all over already because this ginseng been cultivated in the mountain for 20 to 30 years. I got all ginseng in there. Make you feel so good. Smart chi, do whatever you need. Thank you.